better. As uh, horse armor got better, we started using what is known as the target or kite shield. I think that one's actually the, uh, the kite. Yeah, those are the targets. So those are the kite shields. Kite shields are a little thinner. They allow a little bit more movement, usually used by footmen, not people on horseback. Usually used by footmen. And because it's a little thinner, it was easier to maneuver your sword or your weapon around. It was not uncommon to have a spear when using the shield. Spear and shield workshop is on a different year. Last but not least is the target shield. A little squat, but very wide, if you noticed. Squat, but very wide. Also used by infantry. Usually not with a sword, though, because no king would pay for swords for all of his troops. Way too expensive. It would probably be used um, for just regular footmen with uh, maces or hammers or axes. Pretty cool, huh? Coaches, can I have. Oh, yeah. Last but not least, once people started getting civilized, we're talking Renaissance times, we have the buckler. It is a shield, it counts as a shield. I argue about this all the time, but it is a shield. And it is meant just to push your enemy's weapon away from you when they were coming at you. Right? Right. Now, coaches, can I have target shields, please? Target shields, four and four. Four and four. Now we're going to train a little bit on how to use these shields. Because I guarantee you, what you see on TV is probably not real. Ha <laughs> ha 
this is good. Oh, yeah. I should have raised my hand. It's about to get excited now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
for safety's sake, we will teach defense first. That way, should something happen, you will at least be able to defend yourself. Yes? Yes. 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 All right. So, first thing, ready? Get into your fighting position. Go. First thing you must block is always, and I don't know why, every time somebody gives up a shield, somebody's going to try to hit you upside your head. <laughs> why? Well, because it's probably the only thing that's still kind of exposed, right? How many people have done LARPing before? There's nothing wrong with LARPing. It's an alternative form, and it's much better to be out there running around trying to hit each other with a golf sword and staying on that getting exercise. However, what is the one place you cannot hit in a LARP? Yes. Hold the top end of the right?
should be a little tougher than the French and the Germans and the English, right? Yes. If you were corporal. So as Brian comes down, show him your war face. Go. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or even this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna charge him. 
you're going to lose. We know how to brace ourselves. We're step to the side. Huh? We're step to the side. We're step to the side. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Right? <laughs> Control yourself. Control yourself. Number two. Wild haymaker swings. I am the mighty Sultor. Yeah. <laughs> Please form a few people in the line. Pass your hands 